1991 and September 1992. The commentary is shared between Michael Brayshaw, the church architect, and myself, John Easton, vicar of the parish. This is towards the end of the outside work on the south aisle. Here you see the church wardens. Eric Mitchell on the left is filming and Jim Wright on the right. The windows, walls and buttresses on the south aisle had been badly distorted by subsidence. Repairs and rebuilding were carried out by heritage masonry. Here you see John Jepson. And with him, Dennis Clanton. The pinning of the tower began. A team of archaeologists from Creswell Heritage Trust investigated the grounds below. We are under the organ canopy here, looking from the north. These are the remains of a 13th century bell nave. A church warden looking the part. I know you're there, his eyes seem to say. Is John Jepson inside the South Island? Derek Paul, Heather Fretwell, Edith Mitchell, Sid and Dorothy Carter. Joan Cooper, Dorothy Cooper, Tom Fretwell. Put the advent wreath back in position, Mrs. Cooper, that's right. And Joan Coe. Foster here describes the bell foundry uncovered from the 1200s.
first to look at the foundation probably in the 19th or early 20th century, uh, sliced off this end of the bell tip. Um, the bell tip itself was cut. The end was raised, one, two, um, <coughs> and the little ones here, it was cut through those, so those raised earlier than the bell tip. <coughs> and this is the um, test tense that was done uh, earlier this year. <coughs> In the bottom of the bell tip is a, is a fire trench or fire spit just dug into the natural clay at the bottom of the bell tip. Um, <coughs> This is the remains of the west wall of the Norman nave beneath the organ chamber. 